Alrighty, in this video I'm going to show you a technique that I call sliver of light. It's not unique to me, it's used in film and illustration, and it's been used for years. Um, but uh, Corel Painter Digital Water, uh, uh, New Simple Water, is uh, a very easy way to uh, uh, execute this idea. Uh, let me show you a couple examples first. Um, what it does is this sliver of light. You can see this sliver of light here as if there's a parting of the clouds uh, off to the right-hand side of the image, and it's uh, directing your eye into this particular area of the focal point. Uh, it's used a lot in uh, the movie How to Train Your Dragons. Next time you watch that, um, check it out. You can see how they really use that uh, sliver of light technique to uh, direct the eye. Here's another example uh, as we cut through. Now this one gives the appearance, appearance that maybe the, uh, the sun is low or the light source is low uh, and you have a, uh, you know, a large uh, landscape formations uh, over in here and the light is peeking through. Uh, and then this isn't exactly sliver of light, but it's uh, I use the same technique uh, to create uh, this kind of an effect. All right, so let's get started. It doesn't take uh, very long to do this. Actually, it takes longer to get the painting done. So this is a painting um, uh, that uh, uh, I did a while ago, and we will show how we can create uh, a little bit more mood uh, and drama to the image. So I'm going to come right down into here. I don't want to go over into gray because I don't want it to be void of uh, void of void of color, void of color, of color. Shade it to give uh, kind of a mood, and we're going to cover uh, the entire canvas. Uh, now, what I like on uh, the new simple water, uh, the settings. I usually bring the wet fringe down because I don't want a hard line around the edges. Uh, and grain, um, I'll pull down sometimes, but um, this looks good right here. It might be a little bit dark in the back areas, so let's go ahead and just lighten that up just a little bit um, through here. And you can see really how easy uh, this technique is to really create uh, a lot of uh, uh, visual interest uh, into the focal point. So now I'm going to come way down, and I might come down to about here um, and just start to pull back out um, the light. So I'm going to pull back out the light through here and make it look like the light is coming from off screen. Uh, and uh, so we have a nice cloudy day that is uh, the light is peeking through those clouds and cutting right across through here uh, into our focal point. Uh, and sometimes I'm a little clumsy uh, in when I do this, so I just go back in and direct paint right over the top of um, to correct any areas like right in here and right back here. Um, so we'll just keep pulling this along. I want to pull it back through here also, um, create kind of an interesting shadow. We'll maybe pick just a little bit into uh, here like so, uh, and then maybe across uh, these mountains. But I don't want to get too light, so I'm um, pressing very softly on my stylus, and then here I'll get a little bit harder. Um, and then through the main area, let's go ahead and finish this up so it's a little cleaner so you get a better idea. So I'll be quiet just for a second while we're pulling these uh, details out. All right, now I'll go to all the way to white. And here's where I really want to make the light strong right through this area and then coming from off screen so I really get this nice strong direction of light. And again, I'm just creating a sliver. That's why we just call it sliver of light. And pull a little bit of that in there. And again, I'm a little clumsy in there just for the sake of um, the speed of this demo and not having to go back and repaint or start the, uh, the recording over again. Uh, All right, and you can see now we've created a lot of visual interest, um, 
And again, the, uh, um, the digital water tool is just a fantastic tool, in my opinion, to uh, develop mood, uh, to really block in a painting. So I use it at the very initial stages of just about every painting. Uh, and then I come back in and, and create uh, lighting effects with it. Um, and it is a uh, wonderful tool. So now we have a, uh, a completely different mood to uh, the original painting by using digital water uh, and creating the effect sliver of light. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.